Guys, bombs just keep dropping in the Call of Duty esports community. It is ridiculous. The Call of Duty Championships have been announced. Call of Duty Championships is going to be taking place in LA March 28th through the 30th. Wow! Call of Duty Championship has been announced already. You know the biggest part? You have to be 18 as of January 9th, 2014. That is today. So if you are not 18 as of today, you are making roster changes again. Holy crap! Are you serious? <laughs> we just had, ro we're, we're experiencing roster mania 2.0 right now. Think what this is going to be after this news goes mainstream. This has barely been announced. <laughs> barely any teams know about this. This is insane. Insane to think that you have to be 18 as of today. And you know what? The, the qualifying processes start basically tomorrow. <laughs> so, guys, basically, I'm going to run down quick about some of the stuff that's going on for the championship. As I announced, it's going to be in L.A., and there are so many teams that are going to be allowed to come to the Call of Duty Championship. It's a 32-team tournament, but there's only so many teams from each section of the globe, in a sense, that can make it to the tournament. So we have 13 teams from what's called the Americas that can make it. That would be 8 from the U.S., 2 from Brazil, 2 from Canada, and 1 from anywhere else. Just basically a float team. It could be from anywhere else in the, in the Americas. Then we have the then we have Europe. We have 13 teams that can f come from Europe too. So four teams from the UK. Only four teams from the UK. Are you serious? Two French teams. Two German teams. One team from the Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands. One team from Denmark, Finland, Norway, Sweden area. One team from Italy. One team from Spain. Are you kidding? And then one team from the rest of EU or Russia. I got, uh, wow! So we we just we just um, noted off the two biggest esports markets for Call of Duty. That's only twenty six of the thirty two teams. What, if, uh, there's still there's still room. Sorry if you guys can hear me flipping paper, but uh, so. The other two areas that we have are the Asia slash Pacific teams. There's four teams coming from there. Two from the Australia, New Zealand. So we'll find... I'm actually excited about this. We'll finally get to see if those Australian teams can kind of stand it up against the, the juggernauts of the U.S. and the EU. I'm kind of psyched to see that. Then we're going to see the Hong Kong, Singapore, and Taiwan area. One team can come from there. And then one team can also come from South Korea. So, there's one more section, guys. <laughs> I just, I can't believe this. I'm still, I'm still in shock. And then there is Africa in the Middle East. One team can come from South Africa and one team can come from the United Arab Emirates. Wow, I'm still shocked. A 32-team tournament, only possibly nine u.s juggernauts wow <laughs> only four uk juggernauts i i'm shocked i'm insane so if you guys want to know the qualifying process i'm bringing it up right now on my computer that is one of the only things that i didn't talk about so qualifying process actually starts on the 18th in south korea and qualifiers are going to be going pretty much till <laughs> till the 9th of March. So what's it basically going to do? Everyone's going to have an online qualifier through MLG. And after those M online qualifiers, the top eight teams from each qualifier are going to go to a regional LAN, it looks like. For, it may be a regional online tournament, but I'm assuming from what I'm looking at and from what they kind of did last year, it's going to be a regional LAN. So that would announce basically a private land from MLG, a private land from ACL, and a private land from Gfinity, which is huge because land events this so far this year have been very scarce in a sense. Not many major lands. We've only in the U.S. we've only seen MLG Columbus and ML or and UMG Philly, uh, 
and then the Gfinity land, that's probably going to be Gfinity 3 base of basic all European teams. So there's going to be 20, I know, excuse me, 16 teams at all of these regional lands. I think, yeah, it's 16 teams from all these regional lands, which is just, it's, it's huge. So basically, yeah, as I said, it's going to be an online qualifier, which I know you guys are probably, <laughs> you guys are probably worried about. There's going to be a lot of bullshit in these online tournaments, I feel like, <laughs> and if you go, I'm going to just click on the U.S.'s online qualifiers. The first U.S. online qualifier, it's a thousand, you, over a thousand teams can participate in this, which, <laughs> it, it's like, wow. A thousand teams can per participate in the first Call of Duty online qual qualifier for the U.S. of A., um, which is insanity to think about, but. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Call of Duty Championships are coming back. The million dollar tournament for Call of Duty. Put it being put on by Activision itself. It's such a great thing for Call of Duty, especially if they can get it on the Xbox Live dashboard again like they did last year. Heck, it was better than it was on Twitch last year. Like, come on. <laughs> so, just want to thank you guys for just want to thank you guys for watching the video. My name is Goalie. If you have any more questions, my Twitter handle is at GoalieTV. That has two E's, just like in my username. So, guys, this is the end of my time, so I'm going to have to say goodbye until next time.